When asked who to credit most with the Duluth Huskies' success in 2012, one of the team's top hitters and its top pitcher gave very different answers. I've got an absurd run support, so I really have to give it to the hitters. I actually don't think we have had to score any runs for him. He's been lights out for us. So we will call it a group effort, hitters and pitchers alike for the Huskies. Start with pitching, though. Through nine starts this year, Joey Novak was an incredible 7-1 and one with a 2.7 earned run average. He's a veteran out here leading our, leading our pitching staff. And, you know, he's, he's a guy that, you know, we lead, when he gets on the mound, we know, we know he's going he's gonna to do a great job for us. Well, it's fun playing behind him. He works fast. He's got a whole bunch of different pitches and attacks the strike zone. And it's fun playing behind him, and we kind of feed off that as a team. And Having some fun with Novak, though, his teammates say one part of his dominance on the mound is slightly aggravating. The hardest part is that, you know, you're going to stand out. You know you're going to stand out there, you know, because he's got such great stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting out in the outfield like, oh, my gosh. When Ramsey is not standing around watching Novak in the outfield, he's likely on base for the Huskies. Through 43 games, he had 65 hits and a league-leading 380 batting average. That was followed closely by the 366 average of Bluth infielder Trey Vavra. If you're pitching, they go out in the first inning, they're hitting 2-3 hole, you know one of them's going to make noise right away in the first inning. And they're both hitting close to 400, which is just amazing. Amazing, as is this team's ability to share the credit. In Duluth, I'm Zach Schneider, the Northlands News Center.